Good evening and welcome to my Insta Live this Saturday evening at 9.30 p.m. Today we have a very interesting guest who's joining us all the way from Brazil where he lives. It is none other than my, than my friend Andre Braz. Dr. Andre Braz is a world-renowned dermatologist and an anatomist. He is from Brazil, but he practices between Brazil and Miami, USA. He has got clinics in both these countries, um, USA and in Brazil. He has gone around the world teaching facial anatomy, dissecting how the faces are made of, what structure, is it bones, muscles, ligaments, all the mass that goes in, the compartments, etc. He was one of the first anatomists that I met a long term ago, a young anatomist who was visibly very passionate about teaching anatomy to all the doctors that he would meet and he traveled insanely around the world and we would meet up at different parts of the world where we would co-lecture together training doctors and he also runs anatomy lab in Miami where he trains doctors from across the world and why is anatomy so important because that is the basis of the face and that's where we start with our injections and our techniques. So he's going to join us from Brazil and we had a little bit of a thing with the timing. Was it 1.30 p.m. Brazil time or was it 1 p.m. Brazil time? So we're waiting to find out and to get him to join us and he should be joining us shortly today. Um, when we talk about the anatomy of the face, most times on a basic level we just think oh there's skin there's muscle there's fat and then there are the bones and nowadays we're talking about um, that there are ligaments also so now andre has also gotten into such a deep level and analysis he is now actually doing something and he's actually written this new paper which he has to publish two papers uh, where he talks about the in-depth anatomy of facial beauty and facial shaping and facial aging based on the facial shapes. So we're waiting for Andre to join us. He's already here. I'm just letting him into our chat. And if you think about it, um, Andre, join us. I've already asked you to join us. I think we're waiting for you to connect with us. And it's about, it's the, his papers are going to be published shortly in peer-reviewed plastic, uh, plastic surgery journals, which is fantastic because he's looking at a very innovative technique. It's called the AB face technique. And I'm going to wait for him to shortly talk to us about it. Um, let's see what's going on. There he is. Are you showing us a profile? <laughs> hey, my dear, how are you? Let me just a little bit up hey how are you i am good how are you i'm fine very happy to be here with you only online because it's what we can nowadays no but i'm very happy to the invitation and to see you how is your family is everything all right everything is good so far how's everything with you it's good too it's good too no we are trying to reinvent ourselves and this kind of thing in Brazil, but it's going well, finally. Yeah. Because when we see on TV, it says like Brazil, no, it's climbing, it's peaking, and everybody's talking about how it's uncontrollable. So we don't know what's actually happening. Yeah, because Brazil is very big, like India. India is biggest, of course, it's bigger, but uh, depending on the area. My state and my city is Rio de Janeiro, and nowadays you have a plateau, it's not decreasing, mm -hmm. but at least it's plateau. But in the hospitals, there we, we know the, the physician like us, uh, there is a lot of uh, av av uh, places available in the UAT. So is everything is going well. And we are waiting to decrease now the number of the cases, but at least it's not uh, increasing more, you know? So because of that, we are, we are ha 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 optimist. That's opinion. good. 
we are slowly climbing. In my city, we were like, there were no cases. And now we're getting oh, more and more. But now it's more and more. It's 1,000 per day. So we're going to slowly get to the peak and then plateau off. But, you know, I think that's the new world. We're all going to have to live in this world. Yeah, yeah I agree with you. So well, I was just telling everybody about the new AB face that you have yeah. come up with. <laughs> Is that why your face is looking as handsome as ever? No, it's not. It's because you're my friend, you know that. And you are amazing I... too. We are, you are like a teenager, like 15 yeah. years old. You, um, <laughs> and because we met a long time ago. So to be like 15 years old is, is amazing. No? Because <laughs> but so the, the, the AB face, the idea is the anatomy beauty face is you know uh, injecting for almost for like i think almost 20 years 18 years and is a uh, is a maturity of my injection assessment and uh, what i learn around the world giving lectures like you in asia in latin america in the united states in europe and what it works and not so i put everything that i learn and that i develop in this in this new assessment and treatment you know and this because uh, i think that is a different face shapes it, depending of the ascendancy but for example in brazil we have a big miscegenation in the last 500 years so in brazil is more not more the ascendancy of the person is the facial shape because everything is so mixed you know and because of that, I put AB face, it's four face shapes for women and two for male patients. Because male patient can, you have the ideal and not ideal. It's just two. Because the ideal is the mandible, well-defined, more evident, the witness than the mid face, and this kind of thing. But for the male patient, is different. So if you want, I prepare some slides to show. Do you want that? And yeah, then you that can, would be great. That would be so good. I put in my in my computer. Let me put the ring light less because I think it'll be easier to show. Yes. It's okay. I think you can remove. Yes, now it's perfect. We can kind of yeah. see it. Yes. Because so uh, in all my anatomy studies, you'll know that that I love so much. Helped me a lot how to do this. You know, and yeah. so and all my history with anatomy that you like too, I know, is very important to us to understand the anatomy and for the patient, you understand to, the anatomy for the patient is the face shapes because of mm -hmm. that I call anatomy beauty face. And this is my, my atlas of anatomy in Brazil, Latin America is very famous. And now we publish in English by Good. TM. So it's online and it will be ready in print in the next Congress that you have. Mm -hmm. But if it's the atlas of anatomy, uh, uh, apply it to the filling injection, okay? If you... So, the, the name is A of anatomy, and in Portuguese and in English, and B of beauty, beleza is in Portuguese, so anatomy, beauty, face. The idea is that. So, in the face shapes are, I, it's printed, uh, uh, as I told you before, in the engine, Journal of Plastic Surgery. You'll be ready this month. I'm so happy. And it's good for your invitation because it's an Indian journal of plastic surgery. And Congratulations. Then, thank you so much. And have uh, two papers about that. So can you see, I put the shapes, but for me, the shapes will uh, be on the mid face and lower face. The face right. shape is not the upper face. I inject a lot upper face for the temple, eyebrow and forehead, but not change the facial shape, my opinion. So as you can see here, I put four one. And this one, the angle one means all the face shapes that have angles. So the square, the rectangular, the hexagon, everything is angle. I put just one because it's more simple. Okay. I call angular. Do you agree with that? Because it's- I think it's a great way to simplify it because um, otherwise, you get so confused. You're like, is it a square face? Is it rectangle? Yeah. Is it oh, yeah. wait, That's great. Angle sounds so good. Yeah. So now you have the angular, the heart shape, 
because mm -hmm. the mid face is wider than the lower face. The oval face and the round face. And the, the difference between the, the round face and the oval face is the vertical dimension. So mm -hmm. this dimension here will be uh, shorter because of the mantle part is not so long. Because of mm -hmm. that, we will put the, the curve here will be the curvature will be is uh, more heavy and because of that will be round but the thing is when you uh, so the oval face is this you have a curve on yeah. the lower face because it's not so angular you know what i mean and the relation between the mid face and lower face is different so right. then the angular face oh it's giselle binge for my account i'm sorry and you can see <laughs> You can see the angular face is this because it's a it's a right lines and have an angle here the triangle mm. with the mantle and it's more sharp face you know what I mean so this the, the this line here is more mm. like the, don't have the curve you know what I mean so because of this is an angular shape the round shape can you see the curve yes. here is so big because the short. The, the mantle part is shorter. And because of this, it will be very heavy during the aging process. And the hard shape, look, the mid face is wider than the lower face, mm. like this mother from Brazil, because she has a Japan, the, the, her ascend, ascendance is Japanese, uh, nice. Dutch, African, and Indian from Brazil, native Indian. Wow. What, um, because of that is this beauty, you know, is, is wow. And then, uh, so again, the, the face shapes. And now, when you ask me to show how they age it, I, I want to do this because this is a material for the, take a look how they go aging differently oh. during the, the, the years, you know. So this one here is the, is the, oh, what is the arrow? This one here is the round shape. Take a look how right. aging badly, you know, and the angle shape age well. I, I show the picture, it will be ready, easy to see. Can you see here 25 years old? Mm -hmm. And now 40s, everything is very well, but the angular is better. But now mm -hmm. during the menopause, we can see that the angular face is still very well on the lower face. But take a look on the round face. The round face is very heavy on the lower face because yeah. don't have the structure. And the yeah. oval face, can you see the nasal, nasal labial fold mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. very heavy because the structure here is not so good. Mm. And the, the, yeah, and the hard shape, the mid face is very good, but the lower face is aging badly, you know? Mm. So we will be very different. And, and if you simulate the 70s, can you see the round shape, how it's yes. very heavy now? And the angular shape is much better because they structure, okay? So, and when you see the, the, the 45 degrees position, the rounding, you can mm -hmm. see the difference too. Look at the hard shape, is the inferior lateral one. Uh, mm -hmm. how aging badly in the lower face, but the mid face is very good, you know? So when you see these illustrations, I, I do, okay? So when you find, did you like my idea? You know, I hired like three illustrator and one 3D. It was one year and a half of work because they don't know how age it, they, they, well, of course. And I went, no, it's wrong again, here, change again. It was a, Wow, you, you, you can imagine how what, but it's very beautiful now. I, I, I happy that you like it. It's perfect. So, uh, 40 years old, can you see the jaw is beginning on the round face, but we can mm. put the 555 years old. Can you see that the, the angular is very good? It's beginning to have a little jaw here. But the, the, jaw, the round one is very heavy, you know, because don't have big structure. And look at the heart shape, have a small, a small jaw beginning, but the mid face is good. And the oval face is worse than the mid face because mm. don't have the structure. Yes. And then when you see the 70, look at the chin of the round face. 
is is very short. You know what I mean? It's hardly so, there. The, it's hardly there. And this this figure will be on the paper too. Everything is on the paper, but you show everything in the front view and angular one, the forty five degrees ob oblique position, because you're gonna show the difference between the agents mm. and the and the shapes. So you can see yeah. one and the other one. You'll be very interesting. And then, so, and that now you're gonna show some patients. I split the technique in the structure because the structure is when we have to treat these areas to, to uh, rejuvenate the face shapes or change the face shape, depending on the patient. So I call A, B face structure, you know? Mm. And they be face refinement will you be the mm. the refinement when you the the last thing to do you know the nasal labial fold the nasal labial yeah. fold the lips and the lobule and in the this part I I cover the eyebrow temple and mm. forehead is the refinement not the structure for me you know so this is the thing and then I'm gonna show some examples to you so this is the areas that are going to treat on the face structure. Everything is on the, but not necessarily equal. It will be different depending on the shape. This is the right. secret of the technique. It will be totally different. And this is the areas to refinement. Okay. And so, so a heart shape, we can show an example. This patient, can you see, is a yeah. very hard shape because the mid face is wider but she have an aging. So I classify which age she looks like, you know, and then I apply the technique. Can you see, I put the, the rules for this AB face structure for a heart shape, and then we can do two things, or rejuvenate and keep the heart shape, or make it more oval, mm -hmm. or make it angular, depending on what we want to do in the patient too, of course. And then I decide to her because she likes her face shape. She don't want mm. to change that. So mm. we are going to apply the technique and then we have the result. She's more have a rejuvenation. Beautiful. But did you like, but kept the, the, the face shape. And then I show the profile. Can you see? It's almost more. like you did surgery, Andre. Thank you, my dear. You, you do the same. I know. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see. But we kept. So it's what a heart aged, heart rejuvenated. But we kept the shape. And mm. then now I'm gonna show another case. It's a very beautiful patient, more mature mm. one, heart shape. And then mm. she wants more angular. So mm. I will do angular on the AB face structure. This is what the program. She is in my atlas of anatomy and and fillers, by the way. Mm -hmm. And then we, di we did more angular, can you see? But mm -hmm. we kept her face feminine. She's mm -hmm. not masculine, but look at the width of the chin is very feminine because mm -hmm. the width of the nose. And then, so she was hard and now she is mm -hmm. more angled. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So it was a different example. So the hard, hard round shape. In the round shape, I can show to you here. She is the, what you can do for the hard sh round shape. We mm. can do, or keep the round or make it more oval. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this lady, you can see she's, oh, let me, the image is not so. We can see now. Okay. She's beautiful one, but she aged very badly on the lower face because the chin is very short. Can you see? Mm. So we classify that. And then we chose to make she more oval. And then uh, she was like this before. And then we apply the technique. And then mm -hmm. she's more oval. Can you see? We yes. rejuvenate the, the mid face and elongate the chin and treat the jawline, jaw angle, everything shows she's more oval now in her yeah. nature. And also she looks so much younger and refreshed. Yeah, it's because, but we did the refinement too, of course. 
Mm. But can you see the front veil and the profile veil? Look at the chin. Yes. It's a very beautiful, but very natural. Everything's matched now, the mid face and lower face. And then we did the nasal, jugal, nasal labial fold, labial mentonian fold, mental labial fold too. Everything with cannula, my dear. 22 mm. gate cannula, all the areas that I treated. I don't use more needle. It is fantastic because, you know, everybody's always asking how to do those mental labial folds because they're so hard to get great natural results. Sometimes you can overfill them and they still look bad. Your results are amazing, Andre. Yeah, you know, thank you so much. You know, the mental labial fold, I like to do in the end because I did the chin, the pre jaw when necessary, do the submental area. In the round shape, I always do mm. the projection and elongate the chin, mm -hmm. you know, everything with cannula. Go below the muscle to show. I'm not showing here because it's very technical. Yes. I yeah. just, the concept, but the mental labial fold is this area. You will be in mm -hmm. the end just to complete the shadow here, you know. I consider myself uh, a face refinement is in the end mm -hmm. of the process. In the same uh, orifice, orifice that I used to do the lab mentonian fold, I mm -hmm. go to the mental labial one. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, do you like this too? To how to? Yeah. And then this lady is a round shape. She had a surgery before, 10 years before. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. but it is heavy on the profile is worse than the front view. So oh, I classify 55 years old, but she looks like seventies on this mm. uh, profile one. So I classify, then I put the technique. Can you see that I'm treating the yes. chin and the, and yeah. the submental area and I don't treat the jaw on the round shape. Can you see? I, past the jaw and, and the, the jaw and they're gonna treat behind that the jaw line and jaw angle and then i chose to do more oval one okay to elongate too and even this that was very difficult to treat we did this can you see my god it could be a mother and a daughter the difference <laughs> in that picture. And, and the lips is a little bit swelling because I did the lips too. But it's very good, no? The chin project and, and look the jawline. So it that was the heavy face. Yeah, and thank you so much. And take a look on the front view. The front view is more oval now. Mm. And ha the heaviness will be not so big. And look at the profile, no? So it's... And so... Uh, in her case, we did more oval too, you know. Ah, and the oval one. This lady is on my paper about Mahler Mounds. Mm -hmm. Mahler Mounds. I, I, so. I love that paper of yours on Mahler Mounds. It's one of my okay. go-to. Um, and and I always, whenever I teach, I use that as a reference. Thank you so much, my dear. It's my pleasure. Thank you. And then, can you see on this? Uh, we chose to do keep oval because she likes her face. It's very important to understand the patient, the attitude, because some patients, they like, they're more shine, shine, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So they, they don't want to be angle. The angular face is when the patient is more, have more attitude, have mm -hmm. more, you know, like the eyebrow more like this, mm. and is more, you know what I mean? So we need to assess, understand that too, because the angle shape is, is different. Uh, the, her, this patient wants to keep her face shape, but wants to rejuvenate. So, and because of that, we classify and we put the, the oval uh, rules because it's different for the round one. And then she is better, as you can mm -hmm. see. We co co uh, uh, treated the malar mounds and, and both sides, and we treat the chin online and the paper that you like. Thank you because it's to treat the malar mounts and look the but we kept the face shapes it's over one and this is the last patient that is the most common to do this is an oval face can you see because have a mm. curvature here in oh mm. sorry have no. a curve here yeah. it's not so is a long face but she wants to have more attitude more angular mm. And then we decide to, I, I do a tomography of the, I, I play that 
is that we need to understand inside of our patient because of that I create this this illustration to understand the anatomy, you know. And then can you see the nose is down the tip mm. of the nose, yes. the central part to have a depression. She's 45, no, she's 42. And the, mm. the jawline is not bad, but not so well defined. And the width of this part is very narrow, you know what I mean? So, and because of that, we understood that. And look at the profile. The chin is good, but the jawline is not so well defined and the mid face too. And then yeah. we decide yeah. to do the, the if you with the one M face is mm. oval, I like to show like this, and the other M face uh, is oval too, you know? Oh, sorry. And the other M face mm. is oval too, because sometimes you know that one side is one thing, the other side is another thing. And the idea of the AB face is not, uh, okay, the pa patient has 50 years old. Uh, what was my shape? No, it's not what it was. It's, it's how is now your face shape? Because during the aging process, we lost volume, you have bone absorption. So we're changing the face shape. And then what you, how you are now and what mm -hmm. you can do now for you. This is the point, no? And so in her case, she's oval now, you know, right. in both sides. Because if one of the face is one thing, the other is another thing. Mm. You need to treat differently, no? And then, so I don't apply for her the technique that changes between the shapes and make oval or angular, we choose angular one. Okay. And then you're gonna, uh, and then we did that. Can wow. you see? She's it's more like another angry. person. It's good, no? Because she's had more, good. the line here is more straight, and then the angle, very feminine. And look here, how is it wider? Mm. And I did the nose too, and the lips, and the refinement is the nose, nasal labial fold, labial mental fold, and the lips, you know? And this picture, so she was oval, and now she's more angle, but feminine, female angle. And this picture I love, can you see how it was before oval? And mm -hmm. then she now, okay? Because she, look the tip of the nose, the yes. nasal labial fold and the lips, but look the, the definition of the jawline and angle and the chin and the mid face. The mid face is amazing. And the tip, uh, tip of the eyebrow too, can mm. you see? And also the light reflects. It's fantastic how you've got the light reflect at the exact points. Yeah, this is, this, I, I, I knew that you were going to talk about that because you are fantastic. You, you notice this because the light reflection is the secret, no? We need to have, we illuminate the area when you put more volume. We uh, put more shadow. In our case, we don't inject there. So the makeup is stylist, no? The makeup, uh, the... Yes. It's amazing who is good because they do that with shadow and light. Yes. Now you put yes. the illuminator and put the shadow here. We do the same, but we do with filler, of course. But th take a look on the jaw line and jaw angle. It's much more well-defined than before. The chin, just a little bit. Look at the tip of the nose. Yeah. And look at the illumination here on the mid face. So it was Fantastic. oval and not angular, but it's an angular feminine no not angle yes and this is a, a a beauty like picture that i do all my patient in the end i i do a a, a, a fashion editorial picture i say okay that's look a that. great idea and think, <laughs> yeah and that, because they love it and i do that you know? Because they never would have done it before because they didn't have the light reflects or the angles for it and now it looks so glam yeah, this is the thank you so much. So the baby face and structure and refinement is the is the same session, but I like to 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 do in different situations because the baby face structure changed so much. And mm -hmm. I, and just because my my Instagram we changed the name now is Dr. Andre Brass. Ah. Just to show here if you want to see more <laughs> things about it and this kind of thing. And thank you. I, I would like to show the slides to you to explain better because when you invited me to talk talk about how the face is aged if okay this is the face i can show 
to you and about the paper. So did you like the idea? I love the idea. I love how you simplified it. You know, what I really love is that because you've taken it and then you've put it into little brackets and yeah. especially for novice injectors and same for people who want to get their face done. They can understand that okay, these are my options. I can actually choose to look like this. And for a novice injector when we're teaching, it's so much easier to say, okay, you guys, you want to do these, these are your points, and this is the volume. You just change the volume between different faces. It's fabulous. It's an algorithm. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Because you know, Chaitra, you inject so well and have this beautiful, this eye of beauty, because this is very difficult, because this is very artistic, sense of yes. art with we with a and you have this i know you you were amazing but sometimes it's very difficult to us that we teach you know we are speakers and teach uh, you and me and to because to us is very inst instinctively uh, when you see and, and know what you have to do because you know yeah. this side is 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 shorter or like this size is is narrower than the other yeah. side we need to correct and then when the people ask it to me do is is like 18 years and I say okay how do you assess your patient why did you did and then I I, I notice that I I have the thing about the shapes because change so much about the shapes of the face the relation between the mid face and lower face uh, are the most important and then I have been studying the shapes the shapes the shapes and then I think that now I can give the strongness points and mm -hmm. the weakness points. Mm -hmm. How gonna age? Because mm -hmm. we have a lot of young patients, no, the millennials and this mm -hmm. kind of thing. They 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 didn't have, they didn't age it yet. Mm -hmm. The the mm -hmm. but they want to have more symmetry and this kind of proportion and this kind of thing. So mm -hmm. the, the thing the the face shapes you can do that. But during the aging process, what, how the faces will age? And this is the, the thing. And I think it can help. But there is a two situations I did put here to don't be too long, but they will be predominant in relation with the facial shapes. What it was that? The, the biotype and the pattern of the face. The biotypes you have, uh, you know that, of course, the, the mesofacial, the bright face, and the dolical face. So the relation could, should be the same in the thirds. Mm -hmm. When you have, you no, know, the, so the upper third, the mid third, and the lower third. The male patient can have a little bit longer the lower one mm -hmm. because the testosterone will the, do that. For the female, it should be the same thirds. But you know, when the relation between the maxillar bone and the mandibular mm -hmm. bone is mm -hmm. wrong and means that there will be a short face, we call mm -hmm. the bracket facial, short face. The first thing to do, I, I mean like very short, you need to make it longer. This is a, independent of the facial shape. The, you need to elongate the face. This is the first, increase the length of the face. And the, the opposite, when you have a dolical facial, Mm -hmm. the vertical dimension is so yeah. long you should make it wider mm. the, yeah the mid face and lower face should be wider to compensate this vertical dimension so this is uh, i think is very important and when you classify on the profile view is the 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 profile view classification is the pattern so pattern one two and three and the relation between the maxillar bone and mandibular bone. So the right. normal is this one, is the no mm -hmm. normal line here. Yeah, this kind of line. This kind of line, yeah. When you have the mandible very for po posterior, like is mm -hmm. a retrognate patient like this, you no? Know? So the first thing is to project this, independent of the facial shape. And the other pattern, the tree, the third one, is when you have a, 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 a pr prognate, no? So a prognition. Yeah. So the mandible is very like, uh. so in this case, we sh the aging process will be worse on the mid face because here have a big structure. And because of that, we should treat this part. So uh, mm -hmm. generally the heart shape 
uh, and sometimes the, the always the round shape. The mental area is worse, so you need to project mm. or make it longer. Okay, but not uh, sometimes you have the angular one, angular shape when it's more squared, you know, and the chin is very uh, retrogenetic too. So the, the, this is predominant uh, when you compare the face shapes. Do, do you agree with that? Yes, I totally agree with you. And I think understanding the relationship between the height and the width is very critical. And mm -hmm. also looking at the 3D, like you said, the projection or the regression, right? Like you said, I think looking at it as a whole, not just as a flat surface, but as a 3D, that is so critical. Yeah, yeah, it's important. And let me ask you one thing to you, like in Ninja, because it's a huge country. Once I saw a lecture of you, we were speaking together in a symposium in Paris, if I'm not wrong. And you show about the 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 Indian miscegenation. It was so big. So it for me was a surprise because I see. I think that was a very a typical face shapes. And but you show me now, depending of the area in Indian, uh, it can change. So what is the patterns that you see more, or you see all of them? How do you see that? Is my question but, to learn with so, you. Like I was telling you, in India, it's also very regional, right? Because each region has its own hereditary and racial variation. So up in the north, it's more Caucasian in feature. Yeah. So you tend to see more angular faces, uh, right? Whereas okay. on the eastern part of India, it's very oriental because of a huge Mongoloid um, influence. So you've got um, oriental features. So you've got the more. So you'll be more round, more round or hard shape, probably. Round and yeah. hard, flat maxilla, um, okay. very retrognathic. And then in the western side of India and coming down towards the south, you get more round, heavy faces. Faces that are really round and then that don't age very well typically. Uh, but but, but why, why they are more round? Because the miscegenation because the, is... Yeah, because what happens is they tend to have a similar width between their upper oh. and their middle face, the bitemporal and the bigonial width, everything is different. And then they wow. are very retrognathic. Um, so in India, when we look at people, there are two things we always treat, the periorbital area here, uh, because we always have to get uh, support in the lateral side of the face on the zygomatic arch, because we always need to stretch this out, lift and widen, not to widen, but to lift. Yeah. Otherwise, everybody is central facially heavy. And then mm -hmm. we always need to lengthen and project. Both are very critical. And we always need to peg here at the angle. angle of the jawline. Otherwise, what happens is they never get an angle. It just cuts straight through. So it's always going to be this, this, and this. Those are the three critical points in India for our Indian faces. It's so, oh, I learned so. We could, uh, we could do a B face engine. You know, Indian in because it's it changed so much, but it's very predominant. Like I learned with you now, because the, you, you can see because when I began the project first in Brazil, of course, because I'm Brazilian, I uh, I try to have this uh, how we repeat or not the mm. face shapes, and then I realized that in our case, the miscegenation is so big for 500 years. So it's impossible because you know the history of Brazil, the, when the Portuguese came and had, mm -hmm. it was a colonization for Portugal, but there, is, there was a lot of Afro descendants for Africans that came right. to Brazil as slaves in that period. So it was in different periods, but we had five millions, you know, mm -hmm. and then we have like four millions of uh, Europeans, Portuguese, mm -hmm. most, most uh, predominant, and then the Spanish, and the, in south of Brazil have German, uh, Dutch, mm -hmm. you know, in northeast of Brazil too. And there, and there was a, a lot of Indian, native Indian from Brazil, mm -hmm. of course, Indian, uh, indigenous, you know. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. but the government, they, they stimulate a miscegenation mm -hmm. because they mm -hmm. want that everything will be more like 
European, uh, Europe. Right. But it's crazy because never it really works. But it was stimulated by the government. So there is a lot of miscegenation between everybody. And because of that, when we study nowadays, there is not a predominance of ascendancy in Brazil, but it was the face shapes. Because of that is my, is my idea, not to, to show that. But because I, I learned with you that in Indian, in India probably is, is different, but can see this different face shapes is very interesting too, no? But I think that's great because see, everywhere we're going to anyway look at uh, facial shapes, right? We're always going to look at a facial shape and see how we can enhance it yeah. to look better. So your facial yeah. shape and the injection technique, I think, will hold good. Maybe a second book can be injection, um, AB face for the region, and then probably have like each region of face and variation. So you, you can help me with that. We can do <laughs> one for India, you know. Yes. But, but you know that, for example, in Japan, they are very similar because there is no miscegenation. So it's a very round and hard shape because it's mm. very Asian. In, in Korea, there we were, they are speaking together yes. too, at least once. In Seoul, I remember that. And mm -hmm. then uh, it's different because they love the Caucasian influence and they do plastic surgeries for the face to shave. Like do you remember that? Just oh shave gosh. here. Because they have big hair, they mm -hmm. want to make very narrow, to be like the heart, very, you know? So it's different influence. And in China, the first time that I gave lectures in China, I remember that the the people the behavior behavior was more like in Japan it was more traditional. But the last time that I spoke in China, like the fifth time, two years ago, they were like Korea. They are very changing everything. Very, you know. So it's it's different because they are very big. They have a lot of different face shapes too. But the the meaning of beauty is beautiness is, is different no the, so yeah. the fine beauty is different because the, it's cultural no so it depends on the country i think Very so. but andre we have some questions for you one okay. of the questions was if you change the facial shape does the way the person ages change oh yeah this is an amazing question Okay, the, I, I, I'm not telling here that I'm gonna change everybody for the angular face shape. I, I don't work like that because as I told you before, depending on how, the, how is the behavior of the, the patient. If the patient is very shiny, we need to respect that, don't make it very angle. If the patient wants to have more power like the female patient, we can do more angle. And depend on the, the technical things during the injection, depending on what you can do to. But definitely the face shapes that are aging well, uh, 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 better is the angular one, because the angular one have more structure here. And the, the weakness of the angular one is the mid face, because mm. here is very strong. So the mid face can have uh, the loss of volume on the malar area, mm. because it's concave now. And the, I call the prominence, mala prominence, because the anatomical name is the same name. Uh, we can do a little bit to increase and make it wider, because mm. if not, during the aging process, the angular face shape will lose more volume here, and this part will keep. So we will be more masculine, because the angle male patient is angular, have the proportion is one, to one, the bizigomatic and begonian is one to mm. one, or at least here can be a little bit wider than here, but never very narrow than here, because it will be the female angular face. So if the female patient lose volume here and don't treat, this part, because the masseter muscle is big, will be wider and she will be more masculine. So this is the, the, the point that you need to take care. But the aging process will be better, definitely. And the, the round shape, as you told you for me, uh, is the heavier one. Since the patient was very young, is not so strong. And if suddenly the aging process will be 
heavy, you know, because the structure is not good here and here too. So if you do a round face or oval face, more angular, angular face, she gonna age uh, well, uh, better than before. And in the hard shape, because the structure here is very wide and strong, the aging process here will be better. Uh, uh, but on the other hand, the lower face in the heart shape, you age very badly because the jaw will be very small but very heavy it, because the jaw of the round face will be very long mm. and heavier too. But, you know, you should... It, the, the heart shape is the better one to treat because the structure here is very good. You just treat a little bit on the malolateral and malaprominence. You never will need to inject on the zygomatic lateral, mm -hmm. no, because the structure is good. And you can do a lot of filler uh, in the pre-jaw, sometimes in the chin. Pre-jaw, jawline, and jaw hammers to do the jaw angle. So you can increase that, give more structure, more definition, and you keep her femininity because the witness here is very strong, is very good. So even if you put volume here, we, she will be female and not masculine one, you know what I mean? So it's very good. It, all of these changes will make them age well, better than before. What, yeah, yeah. What do you think, my dear, about that? The, the, if you increase here, keeping this proportion and the features, you'll be better for the patient, huh? Their day process. Always. The reason is that we're all going to age like central, lateral, right? Everything goes downwards and central and all the heaviness piles here. So if you have a good structure on the lateral side, it'll hold that up and the framework is still there. So you need that yeah. frame. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's what I, I, I like to do too. So there's another question. It says, why do you sometimes age more on one side of the face than the other? Like when you're getting aged, one side looks worse than the other. Why? You know that I have been studying tomographies of the patient and the, the majority of them is the bone structure because the bone structure is different because the patient was born with this. So one side is a little bit is more, uh, narrower than the other side. And, and when you see the, our patient, and I want your opinion about that, too, when you see our patient generally is when they have a symmetry, uh, all, all the aim face is the different. It's not, yes. not the zygomatic bone, but the jawline, the, the mandibular, everything is like different for the other side. And during the aging process, because you have a trophy of the fat compartments, these asymmetries will be worst. Don't you agree with me? And, I agree. And, uh, yeah, and then the, the menopause after 40s, but in the menopause for uh, 50, 55, the patient came to me and said, uh, I, I have a, a symmetry now that I never had before. And I said, no, you, you had, but you didn't notice. It's because now you lost volume, you can notice more this asymmetry. So the majority of the patients have these asymmetries because of the bone structure. Some of them have a different distribution about the, the fat compartment. It can happen. For example, sometimes one patient has one breast bigger than another one, and this is a fat compartment and glands, so it can happen too. But the majority of the cases, the bone and the how in the bite, no, Chaitra, mm, when the patient yeah. how you you bite because if you have a, a what is the name I always uh, in Portuguese is mordida cruzada is the bite cross uh, when you overbite don't, overbite, overbite yeah. yeah when you bite like this or this you know is is for the side. So you're gonna use more the masseter muscle, one side and the other side. And then you do like this. And then this side will be bigger and wider than the other side. So you're gonna aging bad, bad, uh, worst on this mm -hmm. side. You can have to, in this case, you need to send to the orthodontist to see mm -hmm. the teeth and the relation between them. Don't you think? 
Yes, I think so. And also when we're young, um, there's more fat and there's more padding, right? So it's not so obvious. And yeah. as we age, it the um, the foundation or the support system is the not support. so good. So because the support's not good, everything starts giving away. And that's when you start seeing that there's an asymmetry. One cheek is higher, one cheek is lower, one nostril's bigger, one is shorter. One side yeah. of the lip is up and one side is down and one yeah. side of the face is wider. And, it, and so sometimes you, if you don't point it out to your patient on their first consult, they'll be like after maybe eight to nine years and when they're your long-term patient, then they say, but doctor, I feel they're injecting more on one side of my face than the other side. And you're like, yeah, because you have an asymmetry. So I always yeah. make sure I point it out on the day one. And I'm like, by the way, this side is your other side. This side is your this. Yeah. So we'll balance. Yeah, I always point it out because I found in my private experience that if I don't point it out, and they're my long-term patients, they'll pick up. Because, you know, when you inject somebody, they start looking. They start noticing what's going on in their face. They never looked so closely before. Yeah, and they never, start, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I totally agree with others. you. Yeah. And, and, you, and you know, and I like to suggest to them, as you are saying here, that uh, because sometimes they look for just one area. They look, my nasal labial fold. There is a name in Brazil, the Chinese uh, mustache, the, the name mm. of the nasal label for the popular, because it, it's the dragon, Chinese dragon, mm -hmm. you know, have a mustache here and another one here. Because of that, we, we say Chinese mustache, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, so the, the, nasal label, the nasal label fold is this. Sometimes the patient just look for this and don't look at the full face. And they came, okay, I have this pro issue here, the problem. And they say, okay, we're going to treat here, to mm -hmm. treat here. In the end of the pros in the AB5, AB refinement, I'm going to just tip this area to complete. But the cause of this is the loss of volume here. And yeah. I published that in 2010, AB point. And then uh, I do that. But sometimes the patient, okay, here is better, is okay for me. And I say, no, take a look on the full face. You are much better. Because yes. okay, but oh, it's yeah. okay for me. I just what you know. So it, it try to look the full face, the proportion is the same with the lips. No, if the yes. patient can just to treat the lips, generally the lips will decrease the volume because you lose volume here, and the width of the lips you will do that, and then you have the distance, nasal labial distance will be long. So we need to treat everything around. In the end of the session, you're going to do the, the lips. But the yeah. patient think that just lost the volume of the lips. And no, it's around that and the lips. So you need to yes. understand, they need to understand to assess the, the, the full face of the, 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 their faces. You know, it will be easier and more natural result. You no, know, I think. And, and another thing, there is a, pa a patient that asks here, in Portuguese, so the, the Brazilians are seeing our life you know, because of you, and, and I'm very happy. They, and they say in Portuguese, is the lado que dorme, que is the side that you sleep more. The, you're going to have changes. I don't think, I, I think, okay, if you every night you do that, can have a repercussion, but it's not only like that, no? It's the size of the bone, the fat compartment. I think you can have more wrinkle because you're gonna yes. mass more, no? Like, but maybe not the volume, no? The, 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 don't you agree? I, I agree. I, I, I think. think so. I think it's inherently comes down to your structure and your framework and yeah. what you have Me as too. a genetic code. The other step is all superficial variation. So you can get more finer lines and wrinkles on the side you're sleeping on. But let's say you had fillers and then you've just been sleeping heavily with your hands like that. You could squish the filler in the first one week. So that's the only time I tell them be cautious. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I agree okay. with you. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. We're going to take one more question. It says, doctor, can you tell us how aging affects African face as opposed to the Caucasian or Asian? And how would you approach an African face? Okay, so can you say again how what? I don't how know to that. approach African face. An African, African face. face. Okay. Yeah, you know that this is a very good question, but you know that is like a, then uh, uh, me and you, we can answer that. Why? 
because the the African face in Brazil is totally different from the African face in Africa. In Bra because we have, as I told you, five million African people coming, but the miscegenation is 500 years. So we have the African Brazilians that mm -hmm. we don't see in Africa. I have in Africa three times, mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in Morocco and uh, in uh, South Africa and uh, to I. So is it also South Africa totally different too because you have African and have Dutch and have German and yes. England. But you know what I mean? But they don't have so much miscegenation that is very separated. But you know, the, 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 the African from African that I saw is totally different from African from Brazil because here we have a big miscegenation. So in our cases, in African Brazilians, uh, we can see more the oval face and more round face. We don't mm -hmm. see the angular face and we don't see hard shape because the mm -hmm. African have the nose a little bit wider generally. There is some Africans the nose is, is narrow, but generally mm. is uh, wider, you know. Mm. And this, the mid face is a little bit more, is flat, not so mm. flat as the Asian one, okay, mm. but it's not so projected. And the bizigomatic and begonial area is not so wide. Because of that, we see more oval face in Brazil, is sometimes, depending on the chin, round face. And so, and, and in your experience in India, the African Indian that, that you probably have in, you don't have? Okay, so. No, we don't have an African origin in India, but we do have a lot of students who come from Africa to study here, who come and see us. And like you. And how are the face shapes training. of that? And how well, are the face shapes of that? So the thing is, their skin type itself is so different. They tend to have okay. this more seboric or oily and thicker skin yeah, yeah. when you're injecting, right? Okay. So it even just feels different when you're injecting them. But it's typical. It's like the nose is way wider and, you know, and the apex of the nose is always a little shorter. So you always shorter. need to protect it yeah. and you need to strengthen the dorsum. So I always this... look at them and I always know that it's the nose that I need to concentrate for the dorsum because it's always flat and broader as a nose. Now, in terms of their facial shape, they tend to vary, but they tend to be more angular and or more rounded is what I have seen in my experience because a lot okay. of the heaviness tends to be around this area. Yeah, here, so, yeah. Yeah, we so I tend to you. balance it like that. That's all. Otherwise, yeah, and I because, don't look at it. And because the lips generally is more uh, uh, heavy in beautiful one lips, one. they're yeah. one to one, the proportion. So, and because of the the face is not so wide and the mid face and lower face, uh, we should inject to make it wider and treat the nasal labial fold, the lab Montagnon fold, to, because if we lose volume in the shape, the lips will be alone, you know what I mean? Yes. So we need to do the contour of the face yes. to match the lips, it's very beautiful lips, and the nose to, to have a proportion. I think it, it is, no? Yeah, I'm gonna start closing our session now because Instagram's saying that we have a minute and a half left, but um, I want to say that though that it, race is quite irrelevant these days because everybody is so mixed in their races. It's like, like you yeah. said, look at the facial shape, look at what's in front of you. That's your canvas and then go at it. That's what I say. What do you say? No, I, I think that is, uh, my, my idea is that always look for the full face assessment to see everything, not just one area, you know, yeah. and then try to classify what is the face shape, the, independent of the ascendancy, because can change, can have miscegenation, and then you're gonna have the weak points and strong points for each one, how gonna age and the, what you have to, the purification and to prevent and to treat the ageness. And I, I hope the paper, the AG, they be face paper in the what Indian Journal of Clusters can, can help. And uh, we need to, and the patients, assess your face in the full face assessment, not only one area. You're going to help a lot of the injectors, the physicians, no? Yes. <laughs> the dermatologists, yeah. Thank and thank you, you so Andre. much, my dear. You stay safe. You like yeah. You yeah. Stay safe, and we'll pleasure. see you soon.
Bye. Thank you, my Bye. love. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. So that was my dear friend Andre, who joined us all the way from Brazil to talk to us about his AB face. And it's fabulous because it makes injections and understanding the concept of facial aging so much easier. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.